Hey everybody, welcome to my new YouTube show. <laughs> it's a crossover with my TikTok channel, at Todd Royce XXL. Um, at Todd Royce XXL on TikTok, uh, we have a Q&On section. And, um, it, what's that? Q&A section. Qu uh, yeah, question and answer section. Uh, and uh, I, I get a lot of uh, cues, and uh, I have fallen behind on providing the A's. So, uh, at this point, I'm going to A on YouTube. Um, so, that's what this is going to be. So, thanks for joining. Uh, give it a shot. Give it a look. Give it a watch. Okay, so let's get to it. Uh, the baritone blurred asked uh, i'm curious to know how many times have you been reported on this app because people have not watched your full video love your content so i don't honestly know how many times it's because people don't watch the full video uh the app that they're talking about by the way if you're watching this on youtube is TikTok. um i've been reported a bunch of times um by people who I assume haven't watched the whole thing. Uh, because I think that I usually spell out <laughs> uh, the reality of what I'm talking about um, pretty well by the end of the, the sketch. So I think that a lot of times what happens is people see it, they report it, they're like, screw you, and then they move on. TikTok pulls it down automatically. Um, I always appeal because it used to be, I would appeal, someone would look at it from TikTok and then be like, oh yeah, well obviously, and then they'd put it back out there. Uh, they haven't been doing that lately. Lately, it gets reported, it gets taken down, and then I appeal it, and then they come back and they say, yeah, no, that's, that's offensive. And then I respond, how is it offensive? Please explain it to me so I don't continue to make this mistake. And they never get back to me. So I have no way to uh, improve. Um, I did one recently where I said I was against a woman's right to choose. And then pretty quickly, I made it obvious that what I was talking about was a woman's right to chew tobacco in public. And I said, a woman's right, men's right. I just don't want someone sitting there chewing and spitting, uh, tobacco. And that got taken down as hate speech. So I don't know if that was big tobacco that had an issue with that, or if, uh, if someone at TikTok is dropping the ball. But this is why people like me, a uh, little Shirley's boy, uh, some of us who uh, try to provide comedy that you have to pay attention to the context for, uh, are always saying like, if you're a fan of our stuff, follow our YouTube, follow our Instagram, follow our Twitter, because I don't know how long it's gonna be before TikTok's like, fat boys, you're out of here. Remove one says, my matey, see, hi, I do. And uh, I want to say, doth thy please, though, in the cockles of your heart, or doth thy hate. Oh, wow. Probably just bacon says, uh, hey, Todd. Hey, probably just bacon. If you could travel anywhere in the world, where would it be and why? See... That could be a tough one because my wife and I uh, really do like to travel. And so, like, there's a lot of places in, in Europe I want to go back to. Or not, forget about going back to places uh, because that's that's not really fair. I, I would love to go to Ireland and Scotland because... It's tough because there's a lot. I, I just, I want to, like traveling is sort of my thing. So it's like, I can't really narrow it down to one place. Um, and the, I mean, the, the reason to go anywhere is for the 
um, for the experience of it all, right? So you got Ireland, Scotland, Australia, New Zealand. Um, I would love to go to like Norway. Um, Germany would be fun, I think. It would be really interesting. India would be really cool. I've heard good things about Rhode Island. I think right now, if, if I had to pick one place just right now off the top of my head, um, my wife was just telling me about some, uh, like a South African thing that you can do where you actually go and volunteer and help uh, with like taking care of lions and tigers. No bears, oh my. But that would be, that would be really cool. That might be my, my first choice right now. A Brotherwood asks, what are your thoughts on euthanasia? And he spelled it weird. But I think that um, euthanasia is fine. I, uh, I think youth in anywhere is cool. Uh, what's that? Youth, they, they spelled youth wrong. Look up euthanasia. Okay, I mean, I'm, I'm standing by the idea that youth in anywhere is okay. Define youth. Euthanasia. They spelled the same way. The painless killing of a patient suffering from an incurable and painful disease or an irreversible coma. Irreversible coma. The practice is illegal in most countries. Well, that seems like a heavy issue to discuss here on YouTube. Um, but, I mean... Yeah, I mean, if, if someone has an incurable disease and they're in pain, um, I, I don't see the problem with it. Can't we talk about young Asian kids? What's that? That's not a cool thing to say on the internet? That makes sense. The, I don't know, this Mighty Mouse 830 said, if you were on death row, dot, dot, dot. God, what would your last meal be? That would depend, because what am I on death row for? Because if I'm on death row because I just murdered a bunch of people, well then I don't think that, you know, I should have a nice meal. You know, I think that I would want to uh, give myself that last little bit of punishment. Maybe I would have steamed broccoli and you know burnt pop tarts maybe that would be my my final meal however if i was on death row because of some accident not an accident but like if i was falsely charged with something um and i was on death row for that and i got to pick my last meal i would probably pick um something delivered by a really good attorney who could get me off. Because if I was on death row, uh, I'd feel like I'd want to get off. What's that? The crime. Get off Get off for the crime. Well, I mean, you know, depending on how long I'm at death row, I might want to get off. <clears throat> um, yeah, pizza. Right. Beeb499 asks, Hi! You're my fave on TikTok. You know what, Beeb? You're my fave on this Q&A period. Uh, not enough compliments coming my way, I feel, in this episode. Uh, when was your first What's That vid? And how did the response feel? So let's show that first What's That vid. All right, let's do it. Top five things all black people say. Here we go. Number one. Hey, man. What's that? No. Oh, I can't. That makes sense. No, I get it. No, that's cool. No, it makes sense. <laughs> that was hilarious. When I first started doing TikTok, my whole thought process was I was just going to satirize things on TikTok. 
um, you know, trends or whatever. And there was a lot of videos at that time going around of here are five things that all white people say. And they were all like hilarious stuff. Like, uh, let's uh, skedaddle skedee or whatever. Uh, you know, you know, white people. <clears throat> and in every single one of those videos, uh, there were comments made where people were like, uh, you can never see a white person do that. You know, uh, cause, cause people like to play the victim. And so I said, you know what? I'll, I'll just do it. And so I made that video in the, there was no like real thought process for what's that or anything like that. Uh, as I've said a million times, what's that is just what I say when I can't hear somebody. Um, so immediately TikTok took it down. Like, I, I mean, I don't think it was up for an hour before they took it down. And so, um, I appealed it just for grins and giggles because I couldn't understand what was hateful about it. I said, could you please watch this whole thing? And then they put it back up like a half hour later. And I don't know if it was because it was my first video that got taken down or what the deal was, but like I had a thousand followers at the time. And when they put it back up, I mean, I went from like... You know, like I remember getting like 300 views on it and I was like, wow, that's really cool. And then like, I turned off my phone and then I came back a little bit later and I had like 10,000 views and I was like, what the hell's going on? And a couple thousand new followers and all that sort of stuff. What I loved about it, and this is gonna sound, there's nothing that I hate more than putting people in pockets based on their identity. I feel like we're, too involved in identity, not involved enough, or not interested enough in individuality. Um, so I hate being like, well, so black people, or gay people, or trans people, whatever, I hate putting people all in their little bubble based on their identity, because I think that's stupid. However, when I do these videos, if I am talking about black people, or I'm talking about trans people I'm talking about, uh, uh, gay people I'm talking about, uh, whoever I'm talking about, whatever group I'm talking about, I'm very interested in seeing how people who are in that group respond to the video. Because I think it should be obvious anyone who actually watches my stuff, no hate is ever intended. Uh, and so I want to make sure that I'm not saying something that is legitimately offensive. And I, I, I know that the, the intent is never there to be offensive, but I also want to, you know, just make sure. Um, obviously, there's going to be some people who get offended. Um, obviously, most of them are going to be white women. <laughs> but uh, so I don't I, if, if a couple of people get offended about something, that's that's that individual being offended. That's fine. I'm, I'm I can't apologize to that for that because. Uh, it, that's not the intention. Now, if a lot of people were offended by something, then I probably said something that I didn't really think through. So anyway, the point is, when that video finally got posted and people started responding to it, people started duetting it, um, it was almost all black people that were very positive in, in reaction to that. And uh, I just thought that, that was, was really because cool. I was like, I've always felt like, I've always felt like, both the right and the left have really weird ideas about comedy because a lot of times you hear people on the right say things like you can't even you can't say anything anymore without offending people and that's not true but a lot of times people on the left are like oh you can't talk about those people that's a fuss of and it's like no you don't understand context and so a lot of these types of what's that videos have been uh, the idea behind it is testing both of those thought processes because comedy should just make you laugh it doesn't have to educate it doesn't have to preach it shouldn't do it shouldn't preach at least um but context is super important and so uh anyway now i'm just making it all boring so anyway the point is i was really happy with the response that I got. And, um, yeah, good times. Well, kids, that's gonna do it for this week. We'll have more cues next week, maybe, hopefully. Um, in the meantime, please like and subscribe and comment down below. Or don't. 
I mean, I'm not your, I'm not your boss. I can't tell you what to do. You know, don't comment. If you're if you're gonna do something, if you're gonna comment negatively, don't comment. Or go ahead and comment. Again, I'm not your boss. You can do whatever the hell you want to do. do. Don't comment. If, if you're gonna be lame about it, don't comment. Or comment. I don't care. Like, subscribe for sure. And comment. Yeah, but please. Yeah, comment. No, comment. Go ahead and comment. Unless it's bad. Even if it's bad, comment. Maybe.